Hey everybody, this is Carl Ray Rob. I'm Ray. I'm Rob. Tonight we are doing our before and after trailer reactions for the Meyerwitz stories. New and selected. Both of them. What the hell happened to Adam Sandler? I think he just got old, man. Is that what happened? I just feel bad for kids of this generation. When we were growing up, Adam Sandler was so like the it co comedian guy, whether it be SNL, his CDs, the movies he was oh, doing man. in the 90s, he couldn't miss. Yeah, and now I feel like that's all he does. Yeah. Well, it's now he's not even trying. He's not even trying to be the same person he was. I mean, he's, no. it's all like kids movies, daddy stuff. I do feel like even, you know, his raunchy quote unquote comedies still just they just suck. I mean, yeah. ridiculous six. Is the yeah. Cobbler? I didn't even watch the Cobbler. Was that I saw a lot of the Cobbler. Um, it was okay. Huh? Uh, oh. Yeah. To me, I mean, if I'm Netflix, I don't know how much you know with Happy Madison, this Netflix deal has really worked out. Like yeah. in terms of like just getting good content. I agree. I feel like the Happy Madison stuff has kind of been a lot of misses. Mm -hmm. When he's ventured away from there, he kind of did some stuff that was reasonably okay. He teamed with Paul Thomas Anderson for Punch Truck Love. That was a long time ago at Dude, this point. Supreme. He did like Spanglish at one point, which that like was Spanglish, decent, yeah. you know, and then he did Funny People with Judd Apatow. Off the top, you'd think, man, that's a really good pairing, and he's probably really gonna bring something out really great in Adam Sandler. Maybe he did to a certain extent, but I really feel like Judd Apatow kind of got in the way of that movie. Yeah. <laughs> now he's teaming with Noah Baumbach. Man, this could be a genius kind of combination here. Ben Stiller's had success working with Noah Baumbach. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Greenberg, While We're Young, both of those movies have been really successful, I feel like, for Ben Stiller. And Ben's sure. in this. Yeah, and Ben's in this, so I think that's really, I think another great pairing. Dustin Hoffman is also in that's, this movie. Yeah. So I think this this trio of actors, I think, really could do something really special here, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this, probably more so than I've been looking forward to see any Adam Sandler movie in pff, a long time. And Happy Madison isn't attached to this. No. Probably good thing, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's see what Adam Sandler has for us with this yeah. one. Fingers crossed. Dad, do you remember that song I wrote about that guy who worked at your studio who you never remembered his name? His name was Iris. But you called him Myron. Three times you called him Myron. What a lovely scene. Till you heard the other We've known that. Say it with a B. Myron. 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 That's the last good thing. You look him in the eye. Say it with confidence and look him in the eye. Don't you get it? <laughs> All right, in that first minute, you either fell in love with that tone, or you were left there thinking, like, what's this movie about? You definitely can tell Noah Baumbach hasn't you know, left his comfort zone. He's in, in the wheelhouse. Project. Yeah, absolutely. And that's not surprising, and it's not a bad thing. But what really surprises me is Adam Sandler looks good. <laughs> I'm half surprised because again, like he just has not done that in, in a while, a long time. Yeah. But I'm not surprised because again, Noah Baumbach really has that talent of bringing that out in actors. He looks like reined in, I think, yeah. in a really positive way. I don't mean that thing negative connotation. And he's still conveying that humor, and yeah. you know, he's being funny. He's just doing it in a subdued way. Yeah. He's not getting ran over by a moose. Even when he did Funny People, I was thinking, okay, this is Adam Sandler, not necessarily acting. He's just playing himself. Yeah. In hindsight, I don't know how accurate that is. This movie, I think, maybe Adam Sandler really is just going to be playing himself. You know, really letting himself dive into his family. I know he's, you know, really close to his family in real life, you know, and that type of thing. And, you know, maybe you're going to see that part of Adam Sandler in this movie. Around him, the characters look good and their, their interactions felt real. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, you know, some of the uh, reviews in the uh, teaser really kind of nailed it where, you know, no Bombback really does capture family dysfunction yeah. really well. But again, that whole thing of being able to get a, a person like Adam Sandler into that, into his world, and really being able to carry the type of tone that he normally cultivates still could be a challenge. I'm not sure. saying that you know it's for sure that he's done it, but this teaser definitely lends, lends me to believe that he did. Ben Stiller looks like he's going to be great. Yeah. Dustin Arnold. Hoffman. Yeah, absolutely both. And I think all that trio of actors is really going to sell this movie. I really feel like that work that Ben Stiller and Dustin Hoffman did on on uh, Meet the Fockers is really paying off here. <laughs> 
don't watch those movies. movies. <laughs> no, but you know what? I, we kind of said it with the Florida Project. I love when you you know you can watch a minute of a movie and just really connect with like the realism and the heart. Yeah. That's you know you're able to convey that in a trailer, and so many movies just can't do that. Now there's definitely more about the story I want to see. Absolutely. I want to see you know what's the driving you know storyline that's going to make this movie entertaining for an hour and a half. Sure. Um, but if it's just a really good character piece from what we've seen in this trailer, it still seems like it would be fun to watch. No, absolutely. Right, Rob, the Meyerowitz stories. Midnight it, stream it, forget it, you gotta rate it, where you at? I'm gonna say something I never thought I would say again. I'm gonna Midnight an Adam Sandler movie. Mm -hmm. You know, it looks exactly what I would expect from Noah Baumbach, which is good. Uh, ben Stiller, Dustin Hoffman, both look great. No surprise. Adam Sandler looks good. This movie makes me want to see Adam Sandler in a movie again. I gotta Midnight it. I do too. I actually think uh, Adam Sandler has delivered a project um, that he can be proud of. Um, that it's inspired me to want to watch it. This little trailer has. I think I just see a lot of realism, a lot of heart. I see actors playing characters that I think are going to be interesting to watch throughout the course of the movie. And, yeah. and I want to do it. I want to check it out. All right, everybody. That's it from us. But we want to know what you think about the Meyerowitz Stories trailer. Are you excited to see Noah Baumbach reteam with Ben Stiller? Are you absolutely ecstatic to be excited to see an Adam Sandler movie? We want to know about it in the comments below. Then hit the like and subscribe button so you can catch all of our upcoming videos. Until then, this is Car Ray Rob. I'm Ray. I'm Rob. What's your name? Well, my name is Jim, but most people call me Jim. Okay, Jim, since you are my guest and I am your host, what's your pleasure? What do you like to do? Oh, I don't know. Play chess? Screw. Well, let's play chess. <laughs>